Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, I'm still down here in Devon for the week. Um, I just noticed on Facebook someone spotted in the UK they're getting some system updates for the powered tailgate and for the ICCU. So I've come out to the car to have a look and I've pressed and held setup and it says updates in progress already to install the vehicle system software. It will start immediately after turning off. So let's see what I get. Anyway, that's the message. So I'll press off now. Pressing off. Okay. Um, details. Power tailgate module and the OTA for the integrated charging control unit. So that'll save me a visit to the dealer. So it's, it's put two updates together um, instead of just doing the one. So do it. Uh, What do you mean a function such as fuel in charging is in use? You can restart. <sighs> is that because I had it in utility mode? Try again. I think I'm just going to turn the car off and leave it and come back to it. Well, I've turned the vehicle off and come back to it, and I'm going to try turning it off again, see if it works this time. System update is ready. Um, if I click start update. So the vehicle must be turned off, meet the following conditions to proceed with the update. Gears in park, parking brakes on, exterior lights off, bonnet closed. The update will continue to run in the background even if the screen is turned off. After the update, a notice will be sent to your Kia Connect app. Okie dokie, update now. If I open the door, the screen will go off. But uh, I'll come back to this um, in 15, 20 minutes or wait for the notification to come through. Less than five minutes after I started the update going by turning the car off, I got a notification on Kia Connect saying it's finished already. So that's really quick. So... Uh, Let's have a look and see if I can find out anything else and has anything changed in car scanner. Right, turn the car on. Our latest software version 25.3.1. So does that tie up with what's in Kia Connect system? I would guess it would. Let's have a look. So open Kia Connect and go more version 25.3.1. So that's um, a few weeks ago it went to 25 point something and now it's gone a bit more so they must be bundling up more than one update into one and calling it that so um, that's changed um, if I click on details it's going to repeat what I've seen already uh, OTA software for the power tailgate module or PTGM uh, improvements for energy distribution in the power tailgate module system in order to avoid unnecessary energy consumption from the auxiliary batteries. That's safe draining the 12 volt battery. Uh, update details now differ. And then uh, over the air update for the integrated charge control unit, this over the air update vehicle software update improves the stability of AC charging. So it's the one I was going to the dealer for, but I don't have to now, so I've got to cancel that. And to get back to that menu, just press and hold setup. System info. What's new? Vehicle system update. I'm, I'm not sure if it just shows the last one, but I think it probably does. Yeah. Okay, I've run car scanner and there are no differences in the ICCU section or the power tailgate module section. Um, that's probably mainly because they the car scanner currently doesn't decode the software version on the EB Freeze ICCU or the power tailgate module. There is a barcode in the software version and that takes you to the 
an English language version of that, which isn't the UK version. It looks like the Irish version. Um, we get more information in the UK over the air, air portal, but uh, that's good. I'll just take it. It's done then. I'll see if I get any changes tomorrow when I try charging this. How do I know my over-the-air updates are turned on? It's, it's straightforward to turn them all on, but you have to make sure every single driver's profile you're using has got the over-the-air updates, which is turned on in the head unit. So that includes, I'd, I'd make sure the guest uh, profile's got it and any of the others. So you press and hold setup. That's the version information screen. So just scroll down to the bottom and infotainment system and map updates needs to be turned on it's turned off by default and vehicle system software which is the controller updates for the car which are, can upgrade things like the iccu and the other controllers so mine are all on there um, now it's worth checking your other profiles so let's just go back to home so if i switch to the profile settings and guest. Yeah, guest driver. Press and hold setup. And scroll down the bottom. And they're both turned on. Now I'll do the same for my wife's profile. Press and hold setup. And I, I remember to go through and turn all those on. So then I've just got to go back and switch myself back to my profile. And that's all good. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.